welcome to this video lecture in this video lecture i will go through traffic signal design in this lecture the traffic signal design is based on the two page signal design and there are different types of signal design for the two phase signal design for any intersection now first in this lecture i will go through tricycle method of two phase signal design and the general procedure for the tricycle design of for the traffic signal design is the first we have to determine the 15 minute traffic volume count for any intersection then we assume the cycle length the number of cycle in 15 minute is calculated as 900 by c1 that is the in 15 minute in 15 minute there is 900 second and in 900 second the number of cycle in 15 minute is calculated as 900 divided by cycle and c that we have assume ci and the average headway of vehicle should be known and based on the average headway of the vehicle the total green time in a cycle is given by for the road one g1 equals to st into n1 into c1 divided by 900 similarly for the road two the total green time per cycle is g2 equal to st into n2 into ci by 900 then we will consider the ember time 2 3 or 4 second then after that we calculated the cycle length that is c1 dash equal to g green time for road a green time for road b and amber for road a and amber time for road b then after the calculation of cycle length if this calculated cycle length is equals to assume cycle length if it is not equals then we should repeat from the assume cycle length then we have to assume the cycle length for the another next trial if the cycle length calculated is equals to cycle and assume then our single de design is okay then we will go through then we will go to the phase design or phase diagram and for the tricycle method we will go through the example the 15 minute traffic counts on crossroad 1 and 2 during peak hour are observed at 178 and 142 vehicles per lane respectively if the amber times required are 3 and 2 seconds for road a sorry road 1 and road 2 design the signal timing by tricycle method assume average time headway of 2.5 second during green phase now for as a solution for our first trial the given 15 minute traffic volume n1 equals 178 for road 1 and n2 equals 142 for road 2 then we assume the cycle length of 50 second then number of cycle in 15 minute equals to 900 by 50 that is 18 this is 18 is the total number of cycle in 15 minute occurred for considering the cycle length of 50 second then given that the average headway of the vehicle equals 2.5 second then based on the volume on road 1 and road 2 and average headway 2.5 seconds green time for each cycle length for road 1 g1 is calculated as 24.72 second and for similarly for road 2 green time for a cycle is calculated as 19.72 second then consider the amber time for road a equals 3 second and amber time for road 2 equals to 2 second then the calculated cycle length is calculated as g1 plus g2 plus a1 plus a2 is calculated as 49.44 second in this case the calculated cycle length is not equals to the aging cycle length that's why we have to repeat second trial In second trial, as given is the uh, traffic volume for a 15 minutes n1 equal 178 and n2 for n2 equal 142 as in trial one. Then second to in second trial we achieve the track uh, cycle length of 45 
second the number of cycle in 15 minute considering the cycle length of 45 second then total number of cycle length is calculated as 20 then average headway of a vehicle for a road 1 and road 2 is given as 2.5 second then green time per cycle for a road 1 and road 2 is calculated as 22.25 second and 17.75 second respectively then amber time for road 1 is 3 second and amber time for road 2 equals to 2 second then we will calculate the total cycle length g1 plus g2 plus a1 plus a2 and is calculated as 45 second in this case the calculated cycle length 45 second is equals to the assumed cycle length 45 seconds that's why the, our design of two phase signal design by tricycle method is okay yes then we will go through phase diagram now phase diagram for road one the total green time is 22.2 second then the amber light three and the red one equals to g2 plus a2 equals 19.75 second then respectively for road 2 if the for the road 1 is green and amber the respective time will be the rate for the road 2 that is r2 is calculated as g1 plus h1 and is calculated as 25.25 second then the amber light for road 2 equals 2 second then the green light for the road 2 equals to 7.75 second Similarly, in this case, for a road to the total time period for the amber and green time is respectively equals to the red timing for the road one. And this is the this is the traffic signal showing the red light for the road one, and respective time green time for the road two. And this is the vehicular movement at a traffic intersection for the green timing as well as red timing. And this this figure is for the red green timing for the road one and similarly this is the figure for the uh, figure showing the vehicular movement in the intersection for the green timing for road two in this way we can design the two phase traffic signal by the method of tricycle method and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel for a more video lecture and tutorial and your comments are will be highly appreciated thank you